Hello guys, welcome to this another tutorial by Aubrey Tuts. And today I'm going to show you how to put RSS, how to create RSS file, how to put RSS file, and how to put RSS icon right near the bookmark, just like this right there. As you can see right here, I have a nice little RSS icon, and when I click it, it takes me to my videos, whatever I did. If I click one of those, it takes me to my YouTube videos, or you can redirect to some other pages. As someone subscribes to me, or clicks this button that says subscribe now, it goes to their browser and creates a little list for them. You can create this for your blog. When someone writes a new blog, it updates itself. Uh, it, you can do this for your YouTube videos right there. You can do this for basically anything that is repeating in stock. So let's um get started. First thing you want to do is go to google.com or sourceforge.net and search for RSS builder. I don't really recommend you guys typing XML coding because most of us are not familiar with XML coding and I agree I know what 20% of our XML language so I just use this program that shows me a lot um let's delete this I don't need this this after this thing is downloaded right there I'm going to double click it, click and run, I already installed it so I'm going to move first. Okay so I uninstalled it and now I'm going to show you the installation, installation process. Click and run, next, just me or everyone, whichever you want to choose, click next, next. It's going to give you a little pop up about security warning by Microsoft, but you cannot see my screen. Just wait for a second, you will hear that ding noise. And no Google is frozen, no is working. There we go. It's going to download itself. Let's close all this out. So, the first thing you want to do is you should have a desktop icon, or you can just go to start and type in RSS Builder open their program up as you can see I have a nice little pop box and I have some compatibility issues so I'm going to open file locations again open file location well, it doesn't tell me file location so I'm just going to go here copy this path go to my document reader and put it in there now that I have this, I am going to right click it, properties, compatibility, run, and windows, with the service pack 2. Apply, OK, let's run it. There we go, I have this now, and first thing you want to do is give it a title, I'm going to give you tutorial. RSS by helpful touch. Website URL, let's see. Local host. Or I can put my own website address, which is http slash 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 uh, p a v m p a t o two dot c c l dot org. Copyright or whatever you put an editor, you can put your email address. Webmaster, same thing. Description, it's your choice. And I'm going to go under this uh, organizer and click the first icon, which says Add a Topic. First title is going to be Hello, guys.
I mean, let's just put one of my videos out there. So I'm gonna put my thing up. Local host, and this is just a demonstration purpose. Better yet, let's just go to my YouTube channel because youtube.com slash local talks. There we have it. And as I can see, how my videos I'm gonna choose my third part. First, I'm gonna choose my first part. Get the title, put the title in, link, category, I'm just going to put how to slash html, and for the description, I'm probably going to put this description under it, copy, paste. Every time you have a new video, all you gotta do is press a new top. Now, let's save this by pressing Control S or going to File and Save This. I'm going to save it as desktop. Probably right there as News, which is most default name for most of these. Let's add. Let's close this out. And let's test it out real quick. I mean, no, but it's not gonna let me test it out. I have to click upload, site manager, publish. Quick. That's problem with Windows 7. Some programs don't work very well. So I'm just gonna, if you have same problem, you just want to grab all this code or right click select all and then copy. Minimize this, open your notepad or whatever you choose to have it, paste. Well, I have Dreamweaver, but I just don't use it because it takes time when I just do copy pasting thing kind of thing. You know, let's name it news.xml. You make sure you have XML files and other text documents, you want to make sure it's all fine. Let's save it. As you can see, we have our file right there. Double click it to see it in your browser. Okay. So it is giving me an error. Oh, I don't want to. You want to go to your XAMPP folder or whichever you use. And let's just name it News1. Because I use News. I already have news and so I named it news one so I'm gonna open a new tab go to my HT local host folder go to my tutorials and let's get the file name at .xml there we go and as you can see they automatically put a subscribe button and they put this might look different if you have a different browser and if you click the title they take you to the web page that you linked it to so that's a benefit they also put this link code thing and it also gives you time time and date when when you put it so I'm gonna show you how to add another one to this I'm gonna minimize this open my RSS Builder file that I saved earlier. Let's close the earlier one. Double click the newer one. Let's just add a new topic. Oh, uh, I'm gonna do part two. Click it, and there I have it. I'm just gonna copy the name of it. Add a new topic right there. By the way, this is delete, this is list up, this is list down. Paste the title, copy the link. Oh, that was not a link, that was the title. Copy that, paste it right there. Category, I'm going to put how to 
slash HTML description. Let's copy the description that I have in the video description. And all you gotta do is save it. Preview in XML if your file doesn't work. If it does, then all you gotta do is copy. Let's right click, select all, and copy. Open the file back up with Notepad. Let's close all this out. Go to our Help with Trust folder where we saved our new one HTML. Right click, open with Notepad. Let's just select all. Right click, select all, and paste it. Save it. And let's get a view of it. If it works, it's gonna work out, trust me. Now, if I reload this page, I'll go back and reload. Bam, there you have your next part, and it gives you time and date. So, well, this was the first part of this part. In the second part, I'm going to go show you guys how to put the icon on your menu bar. So, have a great day. See you in the next tutorial. Thank you.